Welcome to our tutorial about the input radio box function. Let's delete this code here. Now let's expand the message box node on the left hand panel. Double click on input radio box. This inserts the snippet into our code. Let's begin by taking a look at how the input radio box looks. So here we enter a title and a prompt. We need the names of the radio buttons, 1 and 2. You might be wondering which choice returns true and which returns false. Well, to figure it out, let's try a message box function. Let's just replace message with Boolean parameter variables. Basically, this function returns a Boolean true or false. And let's run the program. Select button 1, click OK. The return value is true. OK. Let's try the second. OK, and the return value is false. Let's comment out this line and continue. Now we'll incorporate the if else statement into our routine. Our if statement will control part material. Let's expand the I properties note, double click on material. Now a space, equal sign, space, a set of double quotation marks, and within the quotation marks we'll type gold. Let's copy and paste this line of code, paste it right underneath. The second choice will be steel. And let's replace the prompt. I'll type please select the material. Our first choice will be gold. And our second choice, steel. Now the title, select material. Next, let's change the comparison statement. Right click, copy, and right click and paste. We'll paste that here as well. Equals true, then, and false down here. Before we test our program, let's add one more line here. Let's expand the document branch and double click on update when done. Let's run our program. Currently we have the generic material selected. Let's select gold and click OK. Now we have gold and let's run it again. This time I'll select steel, click OK. And our material updates to steel. This concludes our tutorial about the input radio box function.